Hello everyone, my name is Jax, and today we're going to, not really a tutorial, but it's kind of like a demonstration, I would say. I just wanted to show some UI elements and kind of, kind of tell you what everything is and does. So, uh, if I go into my game here, I made a UI that basically, uh, you can spawn a car and then you can delete the car in the radius. So this is the UI uh, that we made. And so in here I can type adder and that's the name of the vehicle. It'll spawn and you have that. And then you can leave the vehicle and then you can type a radius and it'll delete the nearest vehicle in that radius. So that's the UI, that's literally it. And then there's a button that you can press close menu. But other than that, that's literally it. And this video, I am going to demonstrate the code behind it and how I coded it. So if I go over to the code, this is Visual Studio Code. And if you want to learn how to do this, feel free to pause at any moment in the video to screenshot my code and copy it for yourself. I just didn't want to do like a step-by-step -step tutorial because I tried and it was like two hours long. And I'm like, hell no, I'm not editing a two hour long video. So basically i am using uh this template that i'll leave in the description i'm using this template it's a boilerplate it's a basically a script for 5m that you edit and it allows you to use react and uh, built in typescript and it has instructions on how to install um, whenever you put it in your resources folder you, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the top you're going to press terminal, new terminal, and then you're going to type yarn install and then wait for it to install. I already did this, so I'm not going to do it again because I don't want to install everything again, but not that it would really change anything, but basically it's going to load. It'll take like maybe 10 seconds or 20 seconds or something. And then you're going to start your scripts. It'll load in the console as well. And then um, you can start editing your client files and all that stuff. So I'm going to get to the code real quick. I'm just going to explain everything as I go. Let me uh, go ahead and add all the files here so I can just swap in between them fairly easy because there's only about three files that I actually edit. All right. So there's the styling and then there's the actual like UI part. Well, they're all really the UI part. They all talk to each other. So starting from the client file, um, we're importing a constant. So it's this from Project Air, which is a group of developers. And then their script is called PEUtils. So we're importing register in UICB, which stands for callback. And then we're doing a const delay, which basically just is a delay for the script. We're registering the command. The command name is open menu. What it's doing is it's sending an NUI message, which basically says, hey, UI, are you there? And it says yes. And then we say, I want to do action open page, which literally just displays a specific page. And the page is in this file. Uh, I believe the file can be named whatever, but it's with what is in the file that is, um, the page name, um, maybe it is the file name. I'm not too sure about that actually, but basically you open the page, hello world. And then in here, it opens the UI. So that little function opens the UI and in the UI, we have a few things. I don't know what all these are. I'm not going to explain each one, um, but I'm just going to explain basically how I coded my UI. So this already came preset within the template. What I added is a handle input change, which um, basically up here, set input value one and two. We're basically corresponding those to the inputs. Uh, you saw at the beginning, there was an input for the vehicle and an input for the uh, radius. The reason why we have two input values is because if we only had one, they would literally write the same thing uh, twice. 
So if I was in the uh, spawn vehicle input and I typed adder, it would type adder in the second input. And we don't want that, so that's why we have two input values. So one is for the vehicle and the second one is for the deletion radius. This function basically closes the page. So it closes the UI. Once it's triggered, it goes to this callback and then it turns off the mouse. Oh, this is what the mouse is, by the way. If any UI focus function, whenever you turn on true and true, basically it says has focus and has cursor. So it basically allows um, the player to use their mouse to interact with the UI. And then this one um, disables that action. And then this message, this is whenever it says fetch in UI, that's why we have register in UI callbacks. So these correspond to each other, these talk to each other when we're calling them. So fetching in UI, it turns off the mouse and it closes the page. What page does it close? It closes hello world and then callback is true. And then, so down here is where the actual car is spawned. So this is just, um, I'm actually gonna explain this in a second. We're gonna go over here for a second. So down to the actual like UI part, we have the class name window, which was basically like the background. And then with the header, which is, we just wanted to, um, you know, style the header. So car menu, we wanted to have some certain font and our font size and the color and the position and things. Uh, confirm and confirm, confirm delete, and then confirm spawn. Those are the two confirm buttons uh, right next to the corresponding uh, input values. So one is for uh, spawning the vehicle. So that, uh, that the confirm for that one is confirm spawn. And then the second one is confirm uh, delete for deleting the vehicles in the radius. The reason why we have um, confirm delete and then a comma and then confirm spawn is because we want them both to be the ex nearly the exact same thing. They're pretty much, they are the exact same thing. I just put them both values um, and only little differences for them. So um, they're both position absolute. So like basically freely to edit and the uh, position, the like colors why the border radius is five pixels. The cursor's pointer position is the same, all like that. And all that is under the one little like thing. So that way I don't have to type the same thing like twice. So we put them together. Same thing with spawn car and delete car. Um, although these ones are different because they're different positions, but other than that, they're the same as far as like color and, and uh, types and things like that. And then the close is just a styling of the close. It's just the close button is just red, border radius, position. Most of these is just like position and like color. When you go over here and these are the inputs. So you have, well, first of all, the class names correspond. So everything in here fits within the window. And then just this is the header. So everything in between these two divs is the header class. And then this is the spawn. So this is the input spawn car. Um, you know, there's an input text, the placeholder, like the, it's basically like gives the player an idea of what to input. So I can change this to like enter a vehicle model. And then that's what the placeholder will be. And then once you enter an input, it makes that input change to input value one. And then what happens is it goes on change handle input change. So handle input change goes up here and then it sets the input value one and it uses this for the target value. And then same thing with the second um, input for the visual part. They're mostly the same besides position and then whenever you click on them, they just do different things. So explaining one can kind of explain the other. So um, when you press confirm, it triggers this function up here, which goes to handle confirm. It sends data to 5M, which is the input value one. And when it goes to this um, constant right here, it uses input value one as the model. And then const data is the model. Uh, fetch NUI spawn car spawns the model. Now, we go to the client file 
and we do the register in UI callback. And we pass the data through this in UI and to right here. So that way we can capture it and use it. So this is basically saying, I can actually remove this line. This is basically saying that if there's no model, say no model provided, and then otherwise get the player that we, this is the player that we control, the player ped, and then the coordinates, so the position where the player is, the way the player's uh, facing, so that's the heading. And then this is just a console log of spawning uh, what car and where it's facing. We're requesting the model, and the model corresponds to this constant, which is the data model, which is what we put in to the input. And that kind of all goes back to the UI and the input. And then um, if the model is not loaded yet, we're waiting a half a second. And then after it's loaded, we're making a constant so that we can call it into these two functions, a create vehicle. And we're basically, basically all this is doing is we're creating a vehicle where the player is and and it's going to be facing the same way the player is. And then it's going to put the player into the driver's seat. That's it. And now if we go back to here, it's basically the same thing with delete car. So delete car um, is its own class, its own like kind of style, I guess. Same input, placeholder is just radius because that's just what I wanted to type. Input value is actually input value two. And then on changes handle second input change. And then I actually made another um, constant called handle number confirm. And all that does is just basically converts the radius because it's a string right now, but I'm converting it into um, basically only a number. And the strings have quotes on it. So Currently, if I typed radius of 15, it would be a quote 15. And that's a string, but we want it to be a number because 5M requires us to have a number. So this function on the 5M side needs to have the radius as a number. If we try to pass a string through that, it won't allow that and it won't work. So that's why we have to convert the input value to a number. This is a check that says if the radius is not a number, you have to say it's not a number. So it, it puts it in the um, player's face. That's like, hey, the radius needs to be a number. It's not a number. But otherwise, it calls this constant, which is up here, and it passes through the radius, which is right here. This logs the radius, so it just says what was inputted. And then this basically resets the input value back to empty and same thing with um set input value one uh, i forgot to mention that before uh, they basically reset themselves back to empty so now once it passes through the delete vehicle it's a radius now it's a number uh, it's made into the data and the data dot radius is pulled from here so fetch in ui uh, delete nearest vehicle sent to register in ui parameters are data and then radius is data dot radius so data dot radius right here same thing as a little bit as before we're getting the player coordinates and now we're getting the vehicle so this is the vehicle that's closest to the player let me move this to here so now we're getting the vehicle that's closest to the player and this is the this is how you do x and y and z for the player position and then the radius is the number. So if I entered 15, the radius is 15. And then um, zero and 70 are just the, uh, see the model hash string or number and the flag. So zero and 70, I believe 70 is like default. Um, model hash is zero, it means any and flag is 70. So it's like any car except like police cars, I guess. And then this is a check that says, if the entity doesn't exist, do nothing. And then if the player is in a vehicle, console log, you're in a vehicle, you have to exit the vehicle in order to remove the car. Otherwise, delete the nearest vehicle. And this points to this one, which is the closest vehicle. So this deletes the closest vehicle. 
And then that's it. That is the entire script. It's very straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and show it again in action here. Um, so we're just gonna restart and we're going to uh, open the menu. Uh, in here, I type a car. So an adder, we press confirm. And now uh, we can see that we spawned into the car. Now we, ha we do have to exit the vehicle in order to delete the car. So if I open the menu again, we do radius and a radius of 15 that we want to remove the cars around us. Press confirm and the adder gets deleted. So that's it for the video, you guys. Um, I didn't want to do a tutorial like I said before of like me explaining like writing everything out. So I just thought that I would just go ahead and create the uh, script and then just explain everything. I hope I explained it everything okay. Uh, if you are still confused on how it works, uh, I can answer any questions in the comments or if you're in my Discord or not already in my Discord, join my Discord um, and ask your questions there. You can also join JSP's Discord. He has more of a support Discord. I actually recommend joining that one for uh, 5M support. I am in that Discord, so if you need me, you can ping me and I'll respond as soon as I can. I'm usually like, I, I, I'm always available. Like I can, I can respond at really any time. Um, but other than that, that's it for the video. Um, I hope you guys can uh, like the video, subscribe. I'm almost at 700 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. Um, videos are gonna be a little slow the next week or two. And I'm gonna try to push out more videos. I'm gonna try to make my schedule more of like trying to get a video out every day or every other day. I'm gonna try to really push out more and more videos uh, for you guys because I really find this entertaining and I really like doing this. So um, that is gonna be it for the video though. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Join the discords in the description and uh, deuces.